Welcome back to the CCC, everybody. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready for a new week of new cocktail, a week of new cocktails. Um, I'm excited about today's because this is bringing in, I think, some of our favorites, at least some of my favorites, because we've got some aged rum, we've got egg white. I mean, that, those two things alone already make me happy. But we're working in some agave, some other things as well. It's pretty easy to make you happy. I'm just thinking, you know, throw in some aged rum and you're like, okay, I like it. Done. Well, yeah, the aged rum and, and ice, and I'm very happy, so. I mean, but I think everybody, I mean, I'm just thinking of a lot of people I know who have uh, an ingredient or two where if you can incorporate that ingredient, they'll be like, yes, that's what I'm having. You know, they'll pick it off the menu and be like, yep, that. Or make me something with chinar, you know, like just yeah. a go-to ingredient. And I think that you've got probably two go-to ingredients, and that's one of them. Egg white is going to make absolutely anything better. Yes. Duh. What would you say are your two go-tos? Like if your desert island, which two, which two spirits, liqueurs, Amaro, whatever, are you bringing? Um, I mean, you know my first one. I, I might say Chinar and Mezcal. Yeah, well, Mezcal was obvious, but I was going for more of the, the secondary. Maybe Chinar. I do love him. Like a lot. But not as much the, the overproof Chinar, right? You like the regular Chinar. Definitely. I've done a side-by-side. -side. I definitely don't like the overproof one as much. Uh, so today's drink, it's called a Conquistador. It's from Sam Ross, right? The PDT book. Sam Ross? I don't know. We keep pulling out. It is Sam Ross, yes. And he's a big old guy. This well, you know he's Australian. Do you know that? Did not. I like him even more. He's Australian. He's also uh, famous for penicillin, as in the cocktail. Well, this says he wanted to create a mellow tequila drink that retained the spirit's vegetable notes. I suppose that makes him the conquistador. Vegetable or vegetal? No, it says vegetable. I was hoping it was vegetal because, you know, I like that word. But uh, yeah. it, says, it says vegetable. Huh. I'm not certain how this brings out the vegetable notes. Yeah, I wonder if, I wonder if PDT has a little uh, TYPO. Again, he's made the penicillin. He also invented the paper plane. Those of you in Houston may know more about it as of right now than you did this time last week. Yeah, hope you liked it to go. Uh, should we get started? Yeah, let's make this guy. I'm getting okay. thirsty talking about it. Egg white, no pressure, but don't screw this up, Racy. All right. Uh, observation we both were on the same page on is this is relatively low in terms of spirit, it's only, it only calls for one ounce of rum and one ounce of uh, tequila, but then heavier on the simple. Together, that's two ounces, though. So two ounces of your main spirit is pretty typical. Yeah, but two ounces, but then you're working in three quarters of simple, which seemed, just ratio-wise seemed heavy. It just feels like a lot of simple. Yeah, so we're going to do it that way. But yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards cutting the simple on the next round. Okay, so what do we have here? One ounce of a Blanco tequila. Yeah, one ounce of the aged rum. I've been experimenting with aged rums for like the last six or nine months, and I've yet to have one that's bad, and I've yet to spend probably over $50 on one. There's quite a few in the $35 to $50 range that I think are really good, especially for mixing. I think even sipping, they're good, but for mixing, I wouldn't go over the top with an aged rum. Well, three quarters of simple. Yeah, so half ounce of lemon. Half ounce of lime. That one came from my backyard. He's, he's really super tart, actually. Two dashes of orange bitters. I'm waiting for one of these where this just explodes on one of us. Because you can feel it trying to open up, right? Yeah. You notice that? It happened to somebody this weekend. Not to get ice and shake him again. I'm gonna use my cute napkin because in I think in our language, conquistador is, is about equivalent to that. Do we, have, do we have the same glass today? Similar one. Yeah, this is a new one for me, but I think you've had this one. I had two of them and I broke one last week. Been there, done that. Yeah. To garnish this, I'm gonna want to take him off of here, and so are you. Okay. Because we're going to get fancy with our garnish today. We are getting fancy. So I'm very excited to use this. This is the first time somebody 
can't remember who it was. Someone recently gave me this as a gift. Somebody probably very awesome. Yeah, she's okay. Um, gave me these little stencils. It's like a set. So which one do you have? I have one that reminded me of a conquistador. This is not my favorite, but he looked conquistador-ish. You know, I was kind of thinking sort of Mayan, but eh, whatever. It's still a cool graphic, so I'm going with him. Okay. Lay it on the top, and it makes a little bit of a mess around it. Hold on. One key point, guys, if you're going to do this, um, you need to use a darker bitters. So, like, uh, is it Ango? This is Ango. Yeah, and I've got mole. So if you use, like, an orange bitters, like this guy here, it really won't show up. Ooh, my bar smells so good. I think mine may smell better, chocolate mole. Okay, let's see if it works. Who knows? Oh, very cool. Ooh, I wish mine were a little bit more even, but it's still oh, cool. cool. Ooh, this is exciting. I'll put up the pictures of both of the tops of these so you guys can see how these came out. Uh, I've not had this before with the chocolate mole, so I think this is a nice addition too. It's already a, a good foundation. Yeah, what's nice about it is, I mean, you know, we, we do gin sours all the time, but an aged rum sour, this is going to be a little bit uh, fresh and new and um, just different. It's a little bit unique. I can taste all the vegetables. <laughs> no, I, I'm not tasting even one vegetable, but it, it is delicious, no, nonetheless. Good. Okay. Uh, we'll, give, we'll give Sam a pass on that one, no, but quite refreshing. Excellent. I'll see you guys Thursday. See you Thursday. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Jason.